Hello and thank you for watching Guitar 101 Remstein. I'm back with another cigar box guitar video. Um, this is going to be I'm planning to be a quick video, just on um, giving a demonstration of how this is going to sound through a micro amp. Uh, this is a JN Guitars Hog School Cast Series cigar box guitar four string. Right now I'm tuned to open G tuning, so that's um, G with the lowest note, D, G, B which makes an open G chord. Very common tuning for four string cigar box guitar. Anyways, you can hear now real quick. Just how it sounds acoustic, not plugged in. Um, and, you know, I was doing some research, watching different videos on cigar box guitar, where I hear some cool sounds and asking what amps they're using. And the popular thing, the common thing with cigar box guitars are a lot of times these micro amps. Micro amps are generally these very compact, usually battery powered amps that um, they can sound really cool with a cigar box guitar or for certain styles. I generally was not a fan of them for just the normal stuff I'd play. But I was hearing some really cool sounds. There's some really popular ones I'll get into in a bit, but. Um, all I have here, I have this, I've had this since I was a kid, this uh, Micro Marshall Stack, uh, Marshall MS2. It runs on a 9-volt battery. I, I had it as, it was kind of cool because it's battery power, you know, as a kid, but I didn't really dig the sound so much. I actually tore it apart and connected a bigger speaker to it, I remember, and uh, a distortion pedal. But um, since then, the soldering came loose and I have to resolder some things so it's not working at the moment but that's okay I've got something even crappier <laughs> so that is a this guy here and this is a no-namer made in China brand spectrum 9 volt battery powered plug-in acoustic or sorry electric or uh, guitar amp uh, this came with a really cheap guitar I bought and the amp sounded like crap for normal guitar so it's basically been sitting in a drawer ever since I got that guitar quite a few years ago. Um, when I was watching these videos on the micro amps, I decided to dig mine out for the for this uh, four string cigar box guitar, and I'd say I was kind of pleasantly surprised. You know, it's they don't sound awesome at all, but for this, it's it's a nice kind of mix, and it's very portable, which is very nice because this is the kind of thing I like to take with me outdoors when I go hiking, when I go fishing, things like that. Um, I like to do field recording as well, so this can come in pretty handy maybe. There's kits to make micro amps that are about, I mean, I looked these up, they're like, it seems like they're kind of phased out. I still found one on Amazon. It was probably more than I would expect to pay for it. it okay, $17.95, not terrible, but you can find a lot in that range and known brands for, you can pay a little bit more, of course. Or you can buy kits for about this price and make your own. It's just the electronics and the speaker and the jack. So you just, if you're creative, you can make a box. I've seen people build one into a ukulele body. You can do all sorts of kind of cool things with that and make your own micro amp. So um, anyways, let's uh, plug this thing in and see how it sounds. You know, this has the, there's no cable needed. The jack's built in, but it bends. So if it's like a strap, it works too. It's a little bit annoying though because you know it, yeah if I wanted to mic it that would be even worse because I'm probably gonna be moving when I'm playing but um, I'm plug, plug in turn the power on batteries fresh I'm at like 50% volume right now and it's already kind of naturally distorting it was this the speakers breaking out so it's kind of cool, you know, you can play soft. Now, and I mean, if you play a little bit harder, it starts to break up, you get that natural kind of dirt. So I'm gonna turn the volume up full blast on the clean sound and it's already getting distortion. Now we'll put on the overdrive full blast. 
volume full last. That's all we've got on here, overdrive and volume. It's very bright, a lot of presence, so I'm gonna roll, well, my tone wasn't even all the way up, it was about eight. I'm gonna roll it down a little bit to like six. down a bit on the amp overdrive on and I mean yeah it's decent volume for just a little 9 volt battery powered amp so it does give you a lot more volume if you're say out fishing or doing whatever you know where you're not able to plug into a normal amp um, it's got a unique sound I have to say I don't know, you guys be the judge of that. You can hear it too. Hopefully it's picking up pretty good. I'm just, uh, I'm using a Zoom Q8 camera and I'm just using the built-in stereo mics. I put the compressor on, on the camera just so the volume of my talking isn't, you know, too quiet compared to this, hopefully. So I'm going back to that clean sound. Volume, I don't know, somewhere about 35% up. can play a lot softer for the most part just to kind of control the dynamics. I mean, for being the whole portability thing, it's really kind of cool. I was probably would have just gave this away to one of my students, but now I, I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> um, but next step is I'm going to actually order a kit and build one because that'd be kind of a fun project. It does have a micro or a headphone jack on it, I believe. Yes, no, it's audio in S and a headphone jack on the other side. So I have not checked that out. I will check it out. That's kind of cool too because it's just kind of like a portable headphone amp that way. Um, you know, this thing, I, I've already done two reviews on it. This JM Guitars Cask Hog School Series Cigar Box Guitar. I love this thing. It's awesome. I, I've, I, I did a couple reviews on it. I'll put the link in an info card above if you want to check that out. Um, but back to those micro amps, you know, the common ones, like the Roland Micro Cube, the Pig Nose, uh, Fox makes a cool one. There's some pretty nice ones out there. I don't have them. I have... I would say the next best thing or maybe even arguably better than the next best thing except it's not that portable it doesn't run on batteries but I do have a camper amp here and I do have a lot of profiles of those amps so I put them all into a folder which I'm going to do in a separate video I'm going to play some demonstrations through that where it's going to be line in so it'll be a little bit better example than using the microphone on the camera I'll do that on a separate video though so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification because that's going to be up soon um, probably in the next day or two hopefully but that way you won't miss it and yeah that's it thanks for watching till next time